Bless you, movie. Sniffles and sneezes and lots of diseases. Any chance this is also correlated with Dark Side of the Moon? I read on Mental Floss that Deal and Layton hated the movie version of their book. We can go to the premiere. Gesundheit. The symptoms are quite familiar. And very likely you'll come up with a correct diagnosis. Murder. Yes, it looks like a cold. A common cold. Runny nose, headache, achiness, very often a slight fever. Ennui. Those are some of the symptoms of the common cold. Well, how do we get into that unhappy state? Sin? We have cold simply because of cold, because of ice, snow, and low temperature? No. It's monkeys. The funny thing about colds, where it is coldest, the inhabitants hardly ever get colds. Explorers tell us that Eskimos are cold-free, unless they come in contact with visitors from outside their frozen world. Like our camera crew. Then if it is not just cold weather, what is it that causes so many of us to catch cold? I already said, it's monkeys. Scientists think that most colds are caused by extremely small microorganisms called viruses. Or root kits. Viruses, and there are many different kinds of them, can be scattered with each particle of saliva and mucus. With each snot rocket. When one sneezes or coughs, for instance. But do not think for a moment that cold-producing viruses are spread only by sneezing and coughing. Don't you believe the hype? If by some magic, the tiny particles of saliva and mucus could be made visible as a black smudge, yeah. we quickly would realize in how many other ways we are apt to scatter bacteria and viruses all around us. And no one would ever touch you for again. Instance, Jane here has a cold. This is going to be good. Hidden camera prank. Look at that smudge. Look at those germs she leaves on the doorknob. And here's Bob's hand picking them up. Bob, his hand now covered with germs, picked up from that doorknob, transfers them to a book. The E Ching. Sue, having the bad habit of wetting her finger to turn pages, carries the germs from the book to her mouth. Ugh, Philistines. And then passes them along with a pencil to Anne who has the nasty habit of eating pencils. Anne carries them home and leaves them on the family's dinner table. Mmm, flavor. Yes, even during an ordinary conversation, saliva and mucus particles escape our mouth Goose particles? and easily reach others who inhale them as they breathe. No vaping in the Just halls. Just remember how breath becomes visible on a cold day. How then, with so many germs surrounding us, can we avoid having colds all the time? You could become a ghost. Well, fortunately, our body has defenses against this enemy. Normally, we breathe through our nose. Oh, slow down, Bill the Nye. nose, as well as the sinuses, the eustachian tubes, and the throat are lined with a delicate membrane. If, under a microscope, you look at the lining of the nose... It's really We icky. call it the nasal membrane. You can see that it is covered with tiny moving threads. These are called cilia. Showing here. They move back and forth like stalks of grain when a wind blows over a field. Ooh, poetic. The cilia are covered with a warm, moist, sticky substance called mucus. Check, please. The nose usually secretes about a quart of this liquid every 24 hours. Keep refrigerated. This mucus, by warming and moistening the air we breathe in, Ugh. prepares it for our lungs. Great. The mucus also catches and destroys microorganisms, that is, bacteria and viruses. Midichlorians. The movement of the cilia carries the mucus down to the pharynx. Then it is coughed out or swallowed into the stomach where any remaining microorganisms are destroyed by the digestive juices. Uh, the human body is a hellscape. If these defenses are weakened, the cold virus will gain a foothold and cause the inflammations which so often are associated with the common cold. And common core. The common cold is not a serious sickness. But still, medical science as yet has not found a cure for it. Ah, uh, like Bieber fever. Ah, yes, there are remedies galore. All sorts of medications, which soothe pain and headaches, and so bring some relief. However, they do not cure cold. Only snake handling can do no that. no matter how convincingly they may be advertised, do not use them without having checked with your doctor. Yeah, but does anybody actually do that? But there is a sound prescription. If you have a cold, don't stay in school. Because if you do, you may send others home with your cold. Whoa. Hey. It's the rapture. 
Stop murdering people with your boogers, Kevin. If you have a cold, stay home. And delete your Facebook. Stay in bed. This is the prescription which common sense and medical science recommend. Medicines. But only those your doctor prescribes. No others. Warmth, rest, which you can get best when you stay in bed. And while you're there, you might as well make the best of it. With Lawrence Welk and a book of zoning laws. Don't worry, kid, you're probably not turning into a cockroach. Right. Use tissues instead of handkerchiefs. That way you'll dispose of the germs much better than when you blow them into a handkerchief. Oh, I see. What's a handkerchief? However, should you not feel better in a couple of days, or if you keep on having a fever, you should ask your parents to call a doctor. Or two. You see, what you think is a simple cold could really be the first symptoms of some other disease, such as measles. Consumption. Infantile paralysis. Galloping dropsy. Diphtheria. Rickets. Whooping cough. The zombie virus from 28 days later. Scarlet fever. A hangnail. Influenza. Laziness. And others. Live on the same stage at the Poughkeepsie Civic Center. However, even if your illness proves to be only a simple cold, it is still important that you take care of it. A cold which is not treated <coughs> might very well back up along the mucous membrane and so invade the sinuses. U.S. out of my nose. The bones of the face and the skull. Or the infection may reach the middle ears when it invades the eustachian tubes, which connect the middle ears with the throat. I was happier not knowing this. Frequently, the inflammation also travels down the respiratory tract to the pharynx, the larynx, and the blarynx, and the trachea. Your throat feels sore, and your voice is husky. It travels to the bronchi. You have a bad cough. Stop sick shaming and me. And occasionally even to the lungs. And that is pneumonia. These are painful complications, and they often take a long time to clear up. The best defense against the common cold and all these other diseases is blood sacrifice. To keep up the body's natural resistance. To do so, you must eat regularly. At least once a well month. Well-balanced meals. That is, meat, vegetables, fruit, milk, and so on. Wait, the sick girl touched those plates. Get lots of mm. exercise and fresh air, but do not exhaust yourself. In cold weather, you must wear sensible clothing hey. to provide proper warmth to remain healthy. It's Kylo Ren in junior high. I will finish when you started. Go to bed at a reasonable hour. Like 3.30. While you grow, you need about 10 hours of sleep each night. 20 on the weekends. Sleep recharges the body's energy. Known as the mojo. Protect yourself against infection. Keep pencils and other things out of your mouth. I mean, for the love of Pete... Never take bites of other people's food. Especially this guy. Do not use somebody else's drinking straw or glass. Or rolling papers. Not even within your own family. In the bathroom, for instance, use only your glass. And your toilet. And wash your hands frequently and thoroughly, especially before eating. Or taxidermy. When you wash your hands, you wash away many of the disease-carrying smudges you may have picked up. But who's been touching that soap? But if in spite of all these precautions, you still come down with a cold, let us repeat. Klaatu Barata Nikto. Oh. And stay there until it has run its course. This is the safest way to regain your health and to return as quickly as possible to work, to fun, to the 50s, and to play. Yes, enjoy the day and a half before you get that stomach bug that's going around. And kids, remember to clean out your registry after deleting a virus and never open suspicious emails. One last shout out to mucus, cilia, eustachian tubes, and digestive juices. Sneezes and sniffles out. Bye, everybody. Oh, and uh, I know what a handkerchief is. Don't, uh, don't pedant me. Okay, bye. Saliva and mucus particles escape our mouth and easily reach others who inhale them as they breathe.